Yeah, I mean, it was just, it was awesome to finally have that, you know, piece of success that I haven't had since London. And technically, that was, you know, as far as skills are concerned, I haven't been that sharp in my entire career, not even at the Olympics. And, um, you know, everything tactically was going right. Um, you know, I've got some work to do on out speed and, and fitness, but, you know, 56-3, 58-3 is, is not anything to, anything to be upset about. It's just never fast enough <laughs> yeah I mean it, my for whatever reason just it's been kind of a tumultuous year so um, you know I wasn't expecting it to feel perfect the entire time but to be able to come home like that is uh, is, is big for my confidence and it hurt like crazy so you know being able to grind through that is is really exciting uh, it sets a tone for the rest of the month really I mean it's not just it's not just a, a four or five day competition anymore. It's it's about getting yourself on the team and then turning it into a, a training camp and then ideally a faster meet at the end of the month. So um, it sets the tone well, but like I said in my in the post race interview, you know, it's already time to go back to training and four I am tomorrow is gonna be and a critical first part of that, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, to, uh, tomorrow is, is gonna be more about kind of, you know, what I was focusing on this morning was really just hitting the details correctly. Um, to be completely honest, I don't see myself beating Chase tomorrow, if I'm being completely real real with myself, because, you know, he's, he's in fantastic shape, and I can be in better shape, and he's got such an incredible breaststroke leg, and that's something that I really need to work on, so really my focus is gonna be hitting a nice smooth 200 for the first part of the race and then getting as best or, uh, as fast a breaststroke split as I can.